a water refilling station. Look at all the people lined up. Good morning, Scott. We're on our way to Amma's house to drop off this little boy while Daddy and Mommy works. Yeah. <laughs> honey, how are you feeling, honey? Are you happy? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, honey. Enjoy with Amma. Okay, guys. It is December 22. And the typhoon hit us 16th, so 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, it's day 6. And the situation is kind of the same, although the roads are a lot more clear now, so we can pass through. I remember the first time Sater and I tried to head out, hindi kami makaalis, I think one hour in the same barangay lang kami. Because the posts were super down, so hindi talaga kami makalabas. Pero ngayon, we are on our way to Light Block, which is far away from where we live. Mm, and we can pass now. What's that? I don't know, some electrical deco? people. Is that hope? 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 Is Okay, we thought it was Veko, but I think last pa kami maasikaso dito sa Cebu since we live very far away from the city. I think they're prioritizing hospitals and business centers and, and such. So, I know in some parts of the city, may kuryente na. Like, Virama parts of Lahog, parts of Bandila. So hopefully, things will get only get better from here. We're on our way to Light Blocks. It is actually initiating a drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're still sorting out the logistics and the approvals and everything else. I think two of Seder's partners for this initiative are flying in from Cebu. I think last night they arrived and we also got another friend to help out. So hopefully, pag na settle na lahat, we can announce like clearly and very transparently like how the donation process is gonna be and everything like that so that's what we're gonna be doing this morning so shy is actually on her way to our house right now because she was telling me yesterday that her cousin tried to line up at 4 a.m for water but wasn't able to get any it's super hard to get water especially where she lives which is in a different area super far away from us today na parang wala talagang signal and i don't know exactly the extent of the damage there but she said it's pretty bad so we offered to let her get water from our house um, and I think Slater's employees also got water from our house. So our house is kind of like a water refilling station for SkyFam employees. <laughs> but syempre, where we can help them, diba? Konti lang naman yun. And I think our subdivision is also having water problems. So Slater's been trying to fix that for the past few days. And um, I can't meet up with Shai even though she's on her way to our house right now because we are on our way to Light Block Map. But uh, looking around the road right now, wala masyadong tao. I think the past few days it was insanely traffic. The only, I think the major problem in Cebu right now is really water. People have been lining up for overnight or two days just to get one gallon of water. Sometimes we head out in the morning, people are already nakapila for miles and miles and miles with empty bottles, empty containers to get water. And then sa gabi, when we go back home, they're still there so it's really really bad i think in our neighboring cities it's even worse because i just assume we don't get any news here because i don't have any signal but we just assume it's worse because shepra Cebu is a city so feeling ko it's easier to get work done here right, love? i think so I yeah think so. so like for example see si ayajera she lives in negros in a town called gihulgan which i've never heard of before i met her and her Parang natamaan sila sa eye of the storm after Cebu. So, I'm sure walang news about Gihulgan. I tried to research, wala akong nahanap. So, sila yung kawawa, yung mga towns like that. Because I don't think they're gonna get aid anytime soon. So, yeah. So, this guy has to off-road it. Because there's this post here that fell. So, we, we all have to off-road it and climb on the sidewalk. That's how you get around the city these days. But you know, people have been so helpful. Like this guy over here, it's all around the city. Like people who live around the area, they will help the cars pass, which is pretty cool. They come home, they go on. They go? Go. Oh, hey. Oh, it's getting on. More to us. Kaya lang fix ni. Uh, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Off 
off-road. Good thing this car was made for off-roading. Lining up to get cash. There was a Palawan Padala. They were lining up there too. The roads are clear though. It looks like a normal day if you look at it like this. In this part of town. I think they cleared the roads in here. Lining up for water. It's every day like this and I'm not sure even if they're serving right away. Um, I've been passing this road this every single day for the past five days. What's behind this? A water refilling this station? This is mga absolute water. Oh. So... So they're lining up. Oh, the guard is opening the gate a little bit. But yeah, they're talking, but sometimes don't they don't get served though. Yeah. Yun yung mga ano ko. Uh, all around Cebu, not just this. Gosh. So it's super traffic right now. We've been... It's been a while since we were on this road. Super traffic, but it was worse in the past few days. It was actually better, a lot better now. So Slater's super busy now because a friend just messaged if Veco, which is like the Miralco of Cebu, mm -hmm. the power supply company, can borrow his trucks to clear the road. So Slater's coordinating that, and my yeah. mga cities then that we're helping out. So mm -hmm. he's actually doing this free for all. Like if you need light block equipment and trucks to. Mm -hmm. To relieve operations, then you can contact someone from Lightblock and they'll schedule it and see what, how they can help. Um, and now his phone is like always ringing because a lot of buildings around Cebu actually na butas talaga yung bubong. And Slater is a wall guy. <laughs> you know how like okay, let's just make light of the situation. Did I always make fun of him for always checking cracks on the wall? <laughs> Because he's so OC when it comes to walls, right? Yeah. He's always paulot ulit siya, reinforce, reinforce, it's in the Philippine code, la 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 la. So, yeah. I think now people are like, <laughs> Slater, ano yung sinabi mo dati? Can I buy your light block? Because, <laughs> at dami talagang buildings dito, like literally buildings, and then wala ng walls. Like, the walls just flew out. It's crazy. So, how are your light block projects? Okay, ba? I asked someone to go around and everything so far that we know of. It has no problem at all. I actually have people that used to order from Lightblock switch to our competitors because they're cheaper. Kasi wala silang bakal, ganyan. And then ngayon they're calling me na, can we order from you? Oh, this isn't an ad. We're just stating facts. <laughs> like, I remember before Love, you said na, you can't sleep at night, di ba? Yeah. You can't sleep at night kasi alam mo talagang nasa code yan. And then what if magka-earthquake? Yung problema no, nga natin, earthquake cause... lang. I don't want to sell how they're doing, how others are doing it. Na walang bakal because I won't be able to sleep at night. Yeah, you know, what if something happens? May nakapatay ka ng tao just because, you know, something like that. Anyway, whatever. It's not an ad. I don't want to make it seem like an ad. <laughs> Baka isipin nyo na, sumingit pa kami ng ano, sponsor. Grabe naman. Yeah, pero strong talaga sila yung black guys. <laughs> it's so funny. So, when after the whole thing happened at home, and then a lot of people were messaging us like what happened to your house because it's a glass house we're worried about you guys I'm at least later sky pod strong little <laughs> lang yung damage proud na proud si engineer <laughs> more people lining up for water in light block sobrang kawawa kasi we wanted to give out water but there's no water in light block right now it's parang the hose got broken so actually there are a lot of people helping like Kabe nga among your house na and what water refilling station. The I was talking to the priest who wed who wed us, and he was saying that the Jesuit Center here in Cebu is also giving away free water, but the lines are so long and somebody Grand tagged me. Grand Con. Yeah. Um, well, if you're in Cebu, you know what the Grand Con is. They're also giving free water, but I think super haba ng pila. I think there's a line here also if you notice. I think that's a gasoline station. And there's a lot of. Ako na yung tour guide mo love kasi I've been going to this I don't this go road. to this part of the city. Yeah. <laughs> For the past five, four days. Well, at least the roads are clear. I'm really surprised. These, these are clear because ubus na yung gasoline station lang jan. Yeah, the past few days daw super haba ng pila sa mga gas station. Yeah. Ngayon hindi na ganong ka traffic kasi na ubus na ng gas. Na ubus na ng gas. Sobrang timing natin that we, we were able to fill up our gas tanks before the typhoon hit. Because oh, we yeah, pero, came from a road trip too. Pero half na lang. Oh, so. half na lang. <laughs> <laughs> what are they lining up for? Gas? Oh, gas. There's a station right over here. Damn, this line is so long. Whoa. Can't even fit it. Woohoo! Palakpakan! Yeah! 
<laughs> fix these posts. Hopefully, <laughs> light block will have power soon. Soon. Uh, okay. I'm gonna show you the elementary school. It's bang. Light block, yeah. I, you can't see the bang yet. Here, so kawawa. Oh, look, it's so busted. We're going in light block now. Black strong. Like black strong. Ang glass lang na basag. Were those light blocks? Yeah. You gave them light blocks. A little bit. Yeah, but this is like thousands of people here. Yeah. And dito din ang galing yung the people that stole from us basically. The looters. The looters, yeah. But we can't blame everyone, of course. So we're securing lang everything kasi uh, we've had news of people planning to rush in our factory. Kasi and attack yung... your people, right? Yeah, and attack. Another long line. I think to San Miguel. I don't think Petron, because I, I think this Petron's closed. Oh, I think it's Petron! Oi, what's happening here? They barricaded it. Oh, yeah, but they're lining up for Petron, the Aegid. And the line is everywhere, so long. We went to the bank, but the bank is closed because no generator. there's no power, there's no generator, so look at that. So bad. Is trash all over the city. I'm back here with Scotty Boo. Hi, love. Slater is having a meeting with the co founders of our donation campaign this afternoon, and I decided to spend some time with Scott because we've been so busy the past few days. So I'm sending him to my parents' place. My parents' place is also kind of wrecked, so we have a condo unit that we rented out. And we're going there so Scotty can see his grandparents. Hi! <laughs> oh, how's my baby? Motor. There's a motor? Pistachio. Pistachios? Wow! I think those are sunflower seeds. <laughs> Look at this huge Jollibee head. All the Jollibees in the city, this is what's happening. So guys, a lot of brands and people from Manila have asked me how they can come and donate. I think the only problem was a few days ago was that I didn't have anyone in Manila to accept their donations. I didn't have a warehouse there and December, there's no signal here so I can't coordinate with any trucking or any um, shipping line here in Cebu to distribute the goods. But um, I just found out today that Divine Lee, who is spearheading Courage Cebu, She's actually in Manila right now and she is accepting donations from the brands that I worked with. Hi, honey. In Manila. Um, so I'll put all the details down below. So if you are a brand watching this right now and you want to donate, please reach out to her because she will take care of everything from the shipping, um, logistics in Manila, and logistics here in Cebu as well. So please, please contact her. Uh, I'll put all the details down below. You can DM at Courage Cebu or email her directly. Um, all down below in the description. Still here. <laughs> so many people love looking for water. Good morning. I feel like majority of this vlog we're in the car, love. <laughs> yep. What is day seven looking like in Cebu today? Um, the roads are a little bit clearer. See a lot more people clearing the roads. I think there's Koreantena in some parts. Yeah. Very, very little parts, like to one block around the city. But things are looking a little bit brighter. We still don't have power, we still don't have water. Um, there are a lot of things that need to be done. But finally, Slater was able to meet up with 
the team that's gonna help us organize this donation drive we're trying to do it as organized and as legit as possible so if you're a big corporation and you want to donate there is tax relief available for you like you know it's proper through the proper channels mm -hmm. so today we are heading to the office to do some work and then I will try to make some posters too that we can post it online and get your donations and I will also put the details down below and of course here hopefully if we get this out in time it's looking better for us and most of the people but yung mga nakatira lang sa mga shanties mga um, informal settlers sobrang kawawa talaga and um, we've heard of cases I don't know how true this is though because we don't have I don't think a lot of things are reported uh, but we've had messages na oh this supermarket was looted yeah was, uh, this this like barbecue station na uh, ano ni loot din kinuha daw lahat ng chickens ah uh, meron din the hardware store hardware na store loot. like with a gang of people na nakaplanado uh, yeah. like my dump truck everything so i don't know we we don't know how true but these are the stories we hear from just the people here considering that communication is very very hard yeah, yeah. Uh, so we'll try to help as much as we can uh, we'll help within Cebu first and then if there's any or Cebu gets better now we can reach out to other places affected by that yeah I was talking to Slater earlier today na, um, there's so much news about Cebu um, and we're part of the people spreading awareness about Cebu but in other places like Negros where Yaya Jera lives it's called Gihung Gihungan City and very little news is there I feel like because who's there that they can tap right to get the stories out there's also no signal there worse than here so hopefully like when Cebu's okay we can try our best to help out there as well there's so many places pa ilo ilo yeah. um parang the whole Visman area na nadaanan ng storm really needs help so yun that's our goal for today uh, we gotta get working day 7 8 a.m. line to get in the bank there's a gas station over there by this tall building mm. and all of these cars you can see from the mirror that's been going on for a while you see those containers though what containers they start na sila binawalan yung mga containers like if oh, you're going there to refill, to refill with a lot of containers they won't allow because yeah. some people are starting to buy and resell it for like times two the price no way that should be illegal yep supposedly that's so unfair okay we're near light block and the Veco trucks are still here they're lifting this post you can see they were here yesterday too but i guess the work isn't done yet light up the city Woohoo! <laughs> so we are currently in the light block showroom right now and outside us we are doing a little charging station um, a lot of people have lost their homes employees of light box so their families are here let me show you a little bit So we just came from the office and it's weird because when we we come from the sky pod and we're just driving around towards the office parang ah things are getting better yeah. parang ganyan. and then when you get to the office and people tell you their problems uh you realize that okay the situation is still very very hard and very dire like our our employees were telling us sir wala na kami drinking water uh some of them can't go to the office anymore to help um the other employees because they don't have gas yeah and then even if we have a lot of connections people close to us relatives and loved ones that have gas stations hindi rin sila makatulong sa amin kasi yeah. ubus, ubus na talaga. yung gas oh, like yeah. hubas ubus na yeah. so ang hirap ang hirap talaga um we're struggling everywhere like Slater goes there to fix a problem and then when he gets there there's 10 20 more problems <laughs> like oh, hindi siya ma fix it's not like okay problem and then solution A it's uh, like solution A but yung solution A may problem 1 2 3 4 5 and then it's so complicated um and this is Cebu Cebu which is relatively i think 
I think Cebu would most likely be recover the fastest. Yeah, I think. because completo lahat na infrastructure, but yeah. still, it's having a hard time. Yeah, but take everything we're saying with a grain of salt because we have zero access to news. We can't load YouTube or we can't load any um, safari. And we don't have time. We don't have time also. So um, do your own research na lang and help where you can, I think. And I think, um, I think we should end the vlog because <laughs> I feel like this is so depressing. I, I wanted to like give a little good vibes, ba? show like how Scotty is. He's so oblivious, but we can't even spend time with Scotty. Well, he was playing in the half or like this in the amount pool, of water yeah, in the pool. this morning you know yung <laughs> happiness namin the only little time that we spend with him but we're very thankful that he's oblivious to the world and he's happy living his normal life um so we're helping where we can now hope you guys can do the same more details in the description box oh look at the sun <laughs> down below um thank you guys so much for watching uh hopefully we can update you again soon if we get connection Scotty. Scotty. One, two, one, two, three. Wow. Putul there. Putul hear the flowers. Why? What happened? What happened to Ai and Etu's house? Fly away. Fly away also. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. <laughs> yeah, it's he. Hi. Hey. Hey. Mama. Yeah, that's Mama. Mama. Hmm? Mama. Mama. Kugus Mama. Kugus Mama. Kugus Mama. Kugus Mama.